TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Star Trek Discovery. If you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's, we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass-type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. Let's move into Star Trek to Discovery. Hopefully that fares better. No. <laughs> Discovery, just like, the way they, the worst part is the way they advertise it compared to what you're actually getting isn't very good. They advertise this season finale as like a send-off, but from what I watch, it's nothing like what they're saying it is. It's not really a send-off, it's just... Another random continuation, ra another random story, and the story itself is a little bit ho hokey. Uh, they're basically, for a sci-fi show that's about science, they decided to try to bring in like some type of deity type power, which just is pretty jarring. <laughs> To have that in there and then the idea that it just remained hidden for almost 800 years and that uh, no one knew about it around the Jemadar war time it's a little bit hokey to say in itself it's just uh, sad to see where Star Trek was and where it is now it's not as good as it was it's Star Trek is supposed to be the happy, optimistic future, not this whole depressing future. In Star Trek, like this earlier Star Trek series, it was basically humanity moved past some of the simple things. They're, they're more trying to deal with being part of a global community instead of dealing with... Uh, racism and other things like that it's supposed to be gone but they try to bring that in uh with this and it just for me it just doesn't feel like star trek and i really wish it would get back to feeling like star trek because if you want Star Trek, the closest thing you'll get is the final season of Picard, and that's it. And don't watch any other parts of Picard, just the final season. <laughs> because the final season has the next generation crew coming back together and get to see them all work together. But yeah, it's just, for me, Discovery just wasn't the answer. If you're getting a Star Trek edge, I, I recommend just going back to older series if you really want to watch Star Trek. Okay. Alrighty then. So it's a pass for you. Yeah, it's a pass. It's a pass for you, which sounds like you're a hardcore, you've been a hardcore for a long time, and that's where you stand. Now, I'm not super hardcore. As I've said throughout this podcast, I'm, I'm a you know, jack of all nerd trades. I'm not super deep on everything. There's a lot of Star Trek I don't know. And we've even said in previous videos, I said, I watched the first season, started the second season, and I think I just watched the first episode and I was like, ah, I'm good, I'm out. And then I came back into this one because I'm doing it for the people, for the, for the nerds out there, for everyone out there. We waste our time so you don't have to. You were like, hey, you should rewatch all the stuff to get caught up. I did not do that because I don't have the time. This is TVMA, so it's really hard for me to find windows of time to watch it. I've only watched up to up to episode five. I think they're up to episode eight or nine by this point. Yeah, um, I think it's episode eight they're up to. So I'm sure by the time this comes out, it'll be nine. So anyways, the point is, I was lost at first with that first episode, 
dude, I've had a blast with every episode since. Like, I, to me, Star Trek is about inclusion and just having people from different, like, different, you know, obviously that look different on our own planet, but these other, you know, these other alien species working together, too, and just different personalities, and that's what I, that's what I get. Like, that's what I'm getting in this. And, like, it does kind of feel like they are starting something new when it it doesn't feel like they're ending something. It feels like they're starting something new. But at the same time, like I said, I jumped in and I don't feel like I have to watch anything prior. And so if you're new, that's perfect for someone new, especially that hasn't watched any any of the other seasons. Like, I mean, I watched the first one. I don't even feel like you need to watch the first one. You get more if you watch the first one, especially with the do more time travel stuff. There's a lot of time travel stuff. I, I When you do time travel, yeah, it gets messy. I've loved it. The action is phenomenal. I, I think it's it's like this new, like her new number two is so great. Uh, the introduction of that guy, and I'm so interested to see how this goes. And because but I'm not I felt a, like the new number two was useless. The uh, I'm I want someone there to be able to tell me no, but every time he tells me no, I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do anyways. Mary, I am out of control. Yeah, I use drugs. I can do what I want, bitch. Yeah, I have sex and I don't use protection. It's my hot body. I'll do what I want. I don't go to school and I kill people. Whatever. I'll do what I want. Defeats the whole purpose. Well, I mean, he does help. Like, he brings something different that does help her from what I've seen. Like, yeah, that is true to a certain degree. But he has issues that he needs to get over. And he's slowly overcoming these things. And I think it's that same thing where, like, with Saru... Where he was kind of like he was not that way at the, at the beginning. And then as time... Like, they all got closer, right? And that's been great to see. Like, even that huge jump to be like, oh, this is so great to see, like, how they have all gotten so tight and everything like that. And then to see, like, these flashbacks, too. Or whatever. But you're not entirely wrong. But I do feel like it's it's a progressive thing. It's It's a slow... It's a slow... It's a slow progression. And I'm... Like I said, I'm liking it. I, like I said, I, I'm not a hardcore. I don't know much about like the progenitors and like how there are creators and all this stuff. And and to me, like none of that stuff matters, right? Like I don't care. It could I could not care less about past S Star Trek. Like I I like past Star Trek, but I'm not so steeped in it that I'm like screw everything that's new or what they try to do that's different. Because I'm just like. It's new. I know. And say it's like the same thing with like Star Wars. When they introduce something new and they're like, oh, how come in the old Star Wars uh, it doesn't explain this? It's happening new. And it's like, because they're altering it and it's not going to. Like, that's just the way it's going to be. Like, when you introduce something new, it's going to alter the old stuff, especially like with the timey, whimey stuff. Like, it's going to kind of mess it up. And it's your choice if you want to go like, this ruins it for me or it doesn't ruin it for me. Now, I choose not to. If you want to, you, anybody else, that's fine. I'm not saying, like, you have to get on board or F off. Like, I'm just telling you, like, if you're new, this is probably going to be for you. Especially, like, this new season, uh, which, yeah, it's the final season. But, like, it may go, like, hey, I should check out the old stuff. Because now, once this is over, I'm probably going to do that because I'm having such a good time with this now. And I'm making it a priority to watch it because I'm enjoying it so much. So I love that we have this dialogue, that we're on opposite ends of the spectrum, because there are people like us out there that are on opposite ends of the spectrum. And so people get two different people's opinion. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm definitely not saying I'm right, because I know I'm not right most times, you know. So, but I just know I'm enjoying it. And so that being said... It's not the strongest thing out there, absolutely, but I'm having a blast, so it's definitely worth checking it out for me. It's a pass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> and we're probably still going to cover this stuff in the future, begrudgingly or not, whether it be Doctor Who or <laughs> or Discovery or whatever it is. Um, some more than others, obviously, right? Thank you for watching and checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. 
Uh, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here, and then the the TARDIS is going to be right here. But um, and then I'm wearing rocking my Asul Beetle all print, um, not leggings. What do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have a hundred items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you, and you're sporting. Uh, the periodically nerdy shirt which is just it's nerdy periodically yeah. obviously it's hilarious and brilliant which is so fitting for the ambassador <laughs> so yeah you know what let's do some shout outs too i got some shout outs for the peeps for that always at the top of the list we have atticus atticus uh and then we have um which is he's a youtuber and he's just raw and 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 real and he's a teacher out in vietnam and but he also just does slice of life stuff that's that's really interesting really great you know what it's like to have relationships with friends uh, you know people of the um r romantic relationships even pre people of the opposite gender of your own or whatever and uh and and it's so cool i love just seeing it because it like the land is just beautiful like it's it's so cool to see uh mk jekyll and hyatt is another one that is great. Uh, they do comics, like online comics, and they're great. And every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational. So I love their stuff. Uh, film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover all films. Doesn't matter. They will cover all of them because they, like us, will waste their time. So you don't have to. And uh, Mary May Media, which kind of sounds like what it is, which is anime media um, and a little Americana, I guess. I don't know. Um so yeah, and then uh, Superpower List, those guys are awesome, hardcore comic book nerds, talking nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.